MES slow contraction. NMES slow contraction. Okay. Turn on. Hello. <laughs> set button in the back. Hit the set button in order to change the settings. So hit it once, you get frequency. You could change it up or down, the arrows. Either arrow, doesn't matter. She's holding a button. She goes, hit the set button. <laughs> so you, you set it, it to again in order to change. That's for 35. So okay. and you hit set again, and you could change the microseconds. For slow contraction, you would do 450. Okay. And then you could hit set again to change the time. But we're going to do 10 seconds. So minutes. Do 10, 10 minutes of the whole entire thing. You hit set again. You can change the work. So it's going to. He's going to feel it for 10 seconds, and you hit set again. The rest, he's not going to feel it for 50 seconds. So it's a 1 to 5 ratio. You hit set again. Ramp, so it ramps up for 2 It takes 2 seconds to ramp up. You could change that, usually like 1 or 2. Sync, you just keep it 0. And then once you get to sync, you hit this button, which is escape. So you hit escape, and now it's set. So then you can put... On. And you just since this is this channel, I use this arrow to turn it up. And you just ask the patient when you start feeling contractions, and you keep turning it up, and you're looking for the slow twitch. And you only turn it up when you see numbers, right? Yeah. So when, because it's on a 10 to 50 ratio, um, during the 10 second interval when it's on, that's when you would turn up the arrows. But when it's resting for 50 seconds, you do not. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah.